What's up, it's Skidoro here with more Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! In the last episode, we defeated the rest of the Kooplings and got further through Bowser's Castle. In this episode, we're going to continue on forward! Now coming up here, we see this donut-esque shaped area. And right here, there's two extensions. There are no hidden items on there, so... Yeah, I, tr I tried jumping forever, there's, there's nothing there, so don't even try. And, bummer, because the bridge is out, and, oh, great, an earthquake. We all know what that means. It, oh, we all know that face, too. Fall, fall! I am very! At last, my entrance with drama! Finally, now's the time where my true might shines, like many angry slumbings of rage! Hmm, nice simile. Ah, he's flashing us! Cover your eyes! Hmm, what's this now? Looks like the spotlights are hitting on him. And he's fabulous! Just standing in the spotlight that's such a gala of specularity. My nerves are nervous! Oh great, now he's gyrating! But, now that I'm thinking, Cacklear's revival was all thanks to my quite nasty efforts! Hmm, looks like he starts to think here. Which means that all this time, I am double! Who's just a toady? Such working! All for others! Looks like he gets the plan to go off on his own now. Hmm. And that means the true meaning of our battle gives me fear and confusion! I need no long speech for this battle, which will now be mighty! Snack on my wrath, Finkrats! Okay, what? Oh, great, now he has a ten or two. And apparently, one laser bolt equals a lot of them to him. Yeah. Oh, what? Now I can fly too! Come on! Alright, so we're just gonna wait for him to stop attacking us. First off, he's going to release a few laser bolts. You can easily counter them by watching the shadows they make. Just like that. So yes, this is our second fight between Fawful! And we get treated to the awesome Popple music! Yes. Now, you're probably thinking you need to destroy that thing, but watch what happens. No damage! And he's like, What a wasting! So yeah, anything we do to this thing, it won't count as damage. Like, we could jump, jump, jump till cows come home, it will not do anything. Rat Fink! Try as you might, the result will be the same! Alright, so this is the uh, shield's main attack right here, just shooting lasers out of its eyes. Looks like it's gonna release more laser bolts. <laughs> or, you know, laser spheres, I don't know. So, yeah, you might have noticed that that try as you might in this sentence was red. Just like that right there. Um, I'm just gonna tell you, that's just, um, it has no significance to the battle, it's just red to be red, probably telling us not to, you know, waste time with bros attacks and everything. Okay, let's jump on it again, and... You have annoying pass resistance, and now you eat this! Okay, this is the attack we want to wait for. What he's going to do is release these energy balls, we need to smash them with our hammers in order to dodge them. <laughs> and I left two of them on the field, great. And yeah, it can get pretty annoying, but they're only causing one bit of damage, so not really. And after it does that, it looks like it overheated! Ouch! Hotness! It is the overheat! Yeah, I just said that. Okay, when that happens, he is, he's immobilized for about uh, four of the bros terms, like Mario could go twice and Luigi could go twice. So let's just do this! Alright, so I'm just gonna jump on him again. And you know, during this battle, um, I'm actually going to show off more of my items that I should have done a uh, long, long, long time ago. Mostly, the red and green peppers. So first off, I'm going to give the red pepper to Luigi. Eat that pepper, Luigi! And like I said before, it not only raises his attack, but it also gives him Heavy G. Now, uh, a little more into Heavy G, what happens when you have Heavy G is, when you do an attack, like jumping, you go faster on the jump. You also get more powerful, too. And it can get kind of annoying in this battle, because, um, jumping... You kind of need jumping in this battle, so... Um, what also happens on the, um, defense is that Luigi will also, um, lift his hammer a lot slower, and it'll take him more time to... Yeah, lift his hammer. So, anyway, um, the good thing about Heavy G is it counts as a stack condition, such as poison, so we can just cure it with a refreshing herb. So, here you go, brother! And there we go, now he's left only left with his uh, raise attack, so that's awesome. Now, I'm also going to show off the green pepper, and there's something special about the green pepper! I probably should have explained a long, long time ago. 
Alright, so the green pepper. Watch this. Look at that. Mario's just jumping so higher and, you know, slowly too, so I'll explain that in due time after he stops attacking. Stop attacking! <laughs> okay. So, as you notice right there, um, not only is Mario's defense raised, but there's also feathers going around him. That is the opposite, you heavy G, light G. What light G does is when you jump on the offensive, you jump slower and the reaction time is, you know, slower. What the race? Yeah, I already read that. So, you know, and you also raise your hammer a lot faster on the defensive, so yeah, that's cool too. So, um, I might as well keep, uh, Light G, because it's not as annoying as Heavy G in this battle, so... Let's just jump on him. Back thing, tries my... Yeah, you already said these lines already, I don't need to read them again. Okay. So, just jump again. And... He also has one more attack, which is really annoying. Uh, he'll probably show off in a minute. Well, he has two more attacks, but one of them gets really annoying and persistent. So... You know, actually, I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah, no, I'll just heal up. Uh, Light G. Just, you know, to get a balance and, you know, in sync. So jump on again. And he says his default text. And we jump the lasers again. And you know when they're coming, when they flash... Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> white. When they do. Okay, this is the attack I was talking about. Um, that attack right there, when he flaps his, um left arm, I mean right arm, he is attacking Mario, and when he's flapping his left arm, he attacks Luigi. And that attack right there, that could go on forever, whether or not he defeats you or you counter him. Okay, so yeah, here he goes again with the uh, text that brings off these laser balls. So we're just gonna smash him, and I don't know why I'm missing. Okay, just, uh, oh, come on. Crap, I left a lot of them on the field. Okay, uh, okay, come on, there we go. Uh, okay, ah, uh, oh, man. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then he gets overheated again, and he jumps out. Ah, Tottenham! Hey, does he overheat? Alright, so now he's immobilized again. I'm just gonna do normal attacks on him. Because he has one more attack I do want to show off. Yeah. Oh, wow, lucky. So, let's just jump on him again. And, uh, by the way, he's not weak or resistant to anything, so, yeah, don't try. Er, well, do try, but you probably won't reach him cause, since he's a flying enemy right here. And he goes back in his little shield head thing. Cranium. Haha. <laughs> oh, uh, lasers again. Firing the lasers. Alright. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, I do want to show off, but, like, during this LP, I really do want to show off as much as I can. And, you know, some of them might be late. I'm sorry about that. Just that I haven't really gotten around to them. I'm sorry about that. Like, the red and green peppers, that was kind of, you know, late showing. Let's just jump on him again. Okay, here's... Maybe this is his attack. Okay, just jump over the lasers again. Oh, yeah. Speaking about the peppers, um, I should probably note here, um, there is no blue pepper in, uh, Superstar Saga. It was introduced in Partners in Time. And speaking about Partners in Time, um, yes, I have gotten requests to do, uh, Partners in Time. Even its sequel. Uh, he... This is what I mean. Uh, man, I can never get the timing on that once it goes once. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to use a revival mushroom or a one-up mushroom. Okay, just use a one-up mushroom since you know I have more of those than one-up supers. Yeah. All right. So let's just continue jumping on him. You know, I would have been more wise to um, actually heal both rows right there, but yeah. Let's just jump over the lasers again. Oh crap. Okay, let's jump up again. Uh, and okay. So like I was saying, uh, yes, I have gotten requests to do Partners in Time, and even Bowser's Just Night Story. Um, I'm just gonna tell you this right- Okay, yeah, this is the attack right here. Oh man, I really hope I don't get hit killed. Especially since I have low HP. Oh crap. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna avoid this attack. Luigi! Okay, uh, yet again, another, uh, mushroom. One up mushroom. I got alive! <laughs> oh my god. Bad pun is bad. Alright. So, as I was saying... Yes, I have gotten requests to do Partners in Time and even Bowser's Night Story. I'm just gonna say this. Um, I'm not planning on doing those right at the moment. Um, mostly because I really don't have the means to record DS games right now. 
But I am planning on doing them in the future, don't worry. I mean, I'm already doing Superstar Saga and everything, but, you know. Okay, this is the attack again. It can get really annoying, so let's just jump on these blocks. There really is no uh, amount of times to um, jump on those blocks until they disappear, so let's keep jumping until they disappear. That's all the advice I have. Alright. And now that I brought up uh, Partners in Time and Boundaries Side, Side Story and them not being my next LP, you're probably all dying to know my next LP. Um, let's see. What should I say about it? Um, oh wow, I actually hit all of them. Nice. Alright, now it gets hot. And I know I'm kind of um, resistant about using Bros attacks, mainly because I'm just going to admit um, they're overwhelming as heck. I mean, they basically break the game. You can use um, um, Bros attacks, like even Spring Bros, like all through the battle, you can probably have them defeated in like a couple turns. That's how powerful they are. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, as soon as they say they're overpowering, I. Oh, wow, you actually defeated him! Oh my god! Holy crap! And we get a 1-Up Super! If you're not wearing the Game Boy Horror SP, he gives you a Golden Mushroom, so, yeah. And that's, there's actually a glitch that happens that I'll explain it after this cutscene. Uh, unless my mind is crazy, I have somehow managed to lose! This must be fate! Uh, I must accept the defeating! Yeah. Or you could do that and ambush us, like, you know, so lose your R. I'll taste the finale where Kalos opens his door to come back, not expected by you! Your lives I spread on are now but a caricature of a cartoon drawn by a kid who is stupid! You shall all fall and because your precious bin and kingdom, the left, hardly at you! Hey, hey the shiny man! They're here to rescue us! Ha! In the finale of the finale, when Netflix just regrets rashness, the comeback is come back upon! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you just like, oh great! Oh, look at that! Look at his hair go all over the place! In the last moment of the finale of the finale, what relief leads to negligence that regrets rashness? That is when comebacks that flatter comebacks and beat you up the comebacks that I scoff it. Okay, now you're just getting all inception on us, we're gonna beat you! Mario Golf style! Here's your Luigi! Bye, Fawfuls! You in future game! Oh, shiny man. It looks like I am indebted to you once again. So farewell. Oh, you're not gonna shing Sparkle Sparkle! Aw, oh, man! Yeah. So, speaking about that glitch, um, yes, you could use sp Swing Bros on Fawful in order to get the Golden Mushroom. And then what you can actually do is die in battle, and it'll give you the option to go back to the castle. And you'll have to fight Fawful again. Well, actually, if you fight Fawful again and you swing, bro, you get another golden mushroom and just die again and repeat the whole process you get until you get enough golden mushrooms as much as you want. So, yeah. And also, about my next LP. Well, um, I'm just gonna... Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm just gonna give you this. It's gonna be a console game. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be a console game. So right here, looks like this is the final stand. We just grab this Ultra Mushroom and Ultra Syrup. And look at this door right here. We can probably guess what that leads to. So, next time on Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, we're going to be entering through that door and probably facing Baulita! See you then.